you know what that is? Those are my crewmates, and they're getting cut to pieces out there. You cannot leave them out there. What do you there. think I'm doing out here? Wave me off for green deck! Now give me the goddamn coordinates so I can pick them up. I'll need a gunner. You got it. What I love about our show is that it's not a big deal that women are doing the same things that men are doing and that we haven't made it into some huge thing that it seems so natural, because it is, because we can do the same things that anyone else can do. I don't think you understand how much we need your hero. I hope you can see that you can use our help as much as we can use yours. Either way, our crew will help you get your bird back into shape. And we also get to see the characters respond to greater threats in ways we hadn't seen before. Jacob, this is a sensitive operation. I am begging you. Do not run that story. Kara actually finds herself in the White House. She's a military advisor to the president. There's still a lot of the technical aspect to her job, and the technical aspect is keeping her loved ones safe. They've definitely beefed up security. The writers have done a wonderful job of creating detail and character within our show. And so we each do have our own individual identities and skill set, and that has been really special. Captain Chandler, welcome to Asia. It is such an honor to meet you. Sasha. Sasha is an intelligence officer, played brilliantly by Bridget Regan, and she becomes woven into the team, and she's military intelligence, she knows how to shoot a gun, she knows how to fight. Bridget Regan just brought such new energy to the series with her just amazing skills. She's a great athlete. She can do anything you throw at her. She's a great actress. She's great with stunts. And in one five-minute period, I think she speaks Chinese, Korean, Japanese, Vietnamese. So she's a pretty powerful force to go up against Chandler. One of the things that comes up is should Chandler leave the ship? And she challenges him in front of the crew. I'll disembark with Green and Taylor. Are you kidding? You can't go. She's one of the few people that will stand up to him. She doesn't answer to him. She doesn't work for him. She's not on his crew. And that's a fun dynamic for them. With playing a role like this, I'm potentially playing a real-life character. So I really want to get it right. She's no damsel in distress. She has a lot of ground experience with SEALs doing their reconnaissance. She's sort of at home, hanging with the boys, and being on these missions. Get down! Jesus, Sasha! I said get down! And I heard you! You know, you do get asked, well, what's it like being a woman in the military? And what's it like being a woman on, on a male-heavy show? And so I went on board and I asked the women, what's it like? And they said, it's amazing. I think it's like 17 or 18 percent of the Navy are women. And I love how this show depicts women on it. There's not an issue with these characters being women. It's not even talked about. They're just doing their job. I love that the show does that so well. And so to have a bunch of badass, strong women who are getting the job done, it's pretty incredible. The Last Ship, almost Sundays at 9 on TNT, and watch anytime on demand.